What's up, my name is Troubleshoot, welcome back to another video. In this quick guide, I'll show you how to update Python on a Raspberry Pi. If I open up a console here, run Python attack V, you'll see it's currently on 392. If we want 399, for example, or 311, which I'm pretty sure is the latest at this stage, how do we get it onto our Pi? Just a quick note before we begin, open up your browser and head across to the link in the description down below, my hub website. Here you'll find the Raspberry Pi Python installation guide in a text format, and we can copy paste commands from here simply by clicking the copy button. Then we can right click and paste into our console or terminal. Well, obviously, first of all, you'll want to check the Python website, python.org slash downloads. You'll see the latest version here is 3.11.1. This is what we'll be downloading. Keeping that in mind, let's start with the installation. So sudo apt get update to update our system. If things haven't already updated, then we'll need a nice long command to paste in here and install some essential bits of software on our Pi that'll help us install Python a lot smoother. You'll find a link in the description down below to an article of mine where you can copy paste this from. I've got them saved in a text file here. I'll simply copy them and paste them in. Essentially, we're installing multiple little build libraries and programs that'll help us install Python a bit easier. I'll let enter and wait for these to run through to completion. Then when it's done, we can CD into downloads and we can start downloading Python. Wget to download a file, then https colon forward slash forward slash python.org slash ftp slash python slash followed by the version, in my case, 3.11.1 slash Python, capital P, hyphen, the version once more, so 3.11.1.tgz, download, simply by hitting enter. Then the file will download into our downloads here. There we go. Now we can extract it, sudo tar zxf python p, and then I'll hit tab to type in the rest, hit enter, then ls once more. We can see a folder, so I'll cd into python 3.11.1. Now all we need to do is type in sudo dot slash configure space hyphen hyphen enable hyphen optimizations as such. I'll hit enter, let it run through. Here's the command just so you can see what I typed in. Once it's done enabling optimizations and configuring it, we can start building Python. We're building it from source. Even though that may sound scary, it's really simple. All we need to do is sudo make hyphen j and now we need a number of cores usually you can enter four here otherwise if you find that it crashes out and stops working you can enter two or simply just leave it as sudo make to build a python on a single core note the more cores that you have and allow the make command to use the faster it'll actually build and be able to install we can run ls cpu to find out information about our actual cpu and in my case cpus four we have four cores so i'll run sudo make tech j space four hit enter now all we need to do is wait for this to complete Obviously, this will take a very long time. If you're bored, you can open up a new terminal and run sudo apt install htop, then htop, simply like that, to get a nice window telling us about our Python's cores and CPU. In the last stage here, where it's testing things to make sure they're working properly, it uses one core, but while building files, it should use all of the cores as we specified earlier. Regardless, if you see activity here, it probably means that things are running properly, even if it looks like bits of the build process are paused. Here we go, we're back to building files, and as you can see, all four of my cores are pinned to 100%. Obviously, as we're doing tons of work on our Pi, you should make sure that it's running nice and cool. Monitor the thermals to make sure nothing gets too hot, then everything should be fine here. If you have a fan or something, you can turn it on now and make sure everything's happy. There we go, it's finally done. So now we can actually get to installing it. Run sudo make alt install instead of just install. So we're installing this alongside our current Python installation to not mess with anything. So sudo make alt install, we'll wait for this to run through to completion. Just note that even though I'm setting up Python 3.11.1 to run commands, we'll be using Python 3.11. The last version number is just ignored as it's the same major version of Python. This of course can take some time once again, it's compiling a few more files, and of course you can monitor your processor with htop or anything else. 
There we go. Sweet, the installation is now complete. If we run clear and say Python tech V, you'll see our version is still 3.9.2. This is good. Nothing is changing on our operating system, meaning that current programs that rely on Python should work properly. Nothing is changed. If we run Python 3.11, however, dropping the 0.1, as I mentioned earlier, with the minor and major versions, tech V, you should see 3.11.1. Great. We now have both Python 9, 3.9 and the newer Python 3.11 installed. Now, I highly recommend you don't do this, but if you'd like to replace the default Python command with our new custom installation, all we need to do is echo alias Python equals followed by the path to Python 3.11.1 or whatever you have. In this case, slash user local bin Python 3.11 space end quotes space to greater than signs then tilde slash dot bash rc once again i recommend you don't do this so i'll cancel it with control c but when you do so and run source tilde slash dot bash rc to reload the terminal then python tag v you should then see python 3.11.1 or whatever version you just installed because we replaced the default version of python or at least the pointed to it with our new custom installation as running python is the same as running this command here if we navigate to user local bin you'll see all of our installed programs here is python 3.11 and of course if you have different python versions they'll be installed here as well sweet anyways that's really about it for this quick guide thank you all for watching my name has been troubleshoot hopefully you found this guide useful and i'll see you all next time ciao